Well, hello everybody. My name is Mr. Lee David Carter, and I'm here to do a podcast on letting go. Exes, past relationships, substance abuse, um, the outcome to make you free and to allow the universe to bring in the new. So we're going to be talking about the law of attraction and letting go, basically. So we're going to talk about how to let go, why it's important to let go, and this being happiness, feeling good, manifestation in your goals and your dreams, the law of attraction, the thoughts of who you are and what it is you attract in your life, um, in order to feel that higher vibration, which is love, joy, peace, happiness, it's all of those things. Um, the reason being um, is because of your beliefs and the different perspectives of people, labels and so forth. So that higher vibration that makes it flow happens when you know, you're more in synchronicity. You'll find that things start to happen also so forth and that the easier things happen in your goals and in your dreams and and also you know over the last two to three years what i've been applying and what i am about to share with you you know it's a gift after listening to this podcast you're going to know that letting go is much easier than you think And if you believe in letting go, if you believe in letting go of those desires, those wants, so letting go of that vision, then it's not going to, uh, if you're not, you know, if you're not going to let go, or that letting go is scary, or that letting go is hard, or being in the unknown, for example, all of those things. So... We're going to talk about going to improve those relationships, like your dating life or relationships you already have, to help you manifest, um, to help you magnetize yourself, and help you in a state of consciousness where abundance just flows into your life easily. Because when you let go of all these things, that's what naturally happens. That's how the universe works naturally. It happens like that. So sometimes, you know, doing a nine to five job, beliefs, systems here, instead of doing what you're passionate about, such as writing writing that book or, you know, manifesting your dreams and your goals, like, you know, to teach or make that song. It's all about worthiness. Okay. And within... It's challenging, Um, something, sometimes it can be a little bit scary, even letting go, it goes back to your inner child, your beliefs, your core development of your childhood, letting go of limited beliefs because of your childhood history, feeling unworthy, feeling unloved, rejection, abandonment, all of those things, even though I have a degree and I'm here to teach, Um, I am gifted with those beliefs and letting go I needed to heal I've been in survival for so many years when it comes to letting go so those challenges that we have you know letting go of partners the dynamics of it and the key to all of it is letting in and letting go letting go makes space for the new um so you can make room for the new things to come in to your life so i was also attracting women into my life which reminded me of the patterns of of my parents behavior basically and i talk about this in the second book the law of attraction i talk about the abuse and the trauma and the road to recovery and it's being able to get rid of those attachments and letting go whether it's a positive or a negative and uh, being able to uh, you know come to a realization of the patterns 
when you look at the first book, Living with Lisa, when you see those patterns in your life, and this can appeal to anybody out there when you start seeing the patterns in your life, that um, it was the relationships, you know, one after the other relationships, where you see those patterns in your life. And it's through meditation and, should I say, unresolved feelings that I, you know, the anger needed to be resolved uh, towards my parents, my childhood inside, like to clean up and therefore keep attracting that into my life or your life. You know, you come to what I should say, a realisation. And, you know, so... From this, it's by forgiving them, and it's a process that we have to go through cleaning up that inner child meditation, which I mentioned before in the other blogs, um, Dr. Hugh, and handing it over to the divine and cleaning up that inner child because it's not what's outside, it's what's inside. And once you clean up inside, and reach that higher vibration. I said before in the previous videos that your outside, your outer world starts to change. Things seem to be so positive. Everything, the whole universe just responds back once you clean up from within. So it's through letting go and coming to a realization, your life transforms. It just transforms. And it's a process that you have to go through. And... Um, I need to let go of all perspectives, let go of all beliefs to live my life and to live my life purpose here. And as well as being an advocate for the LGBTQ and to be that fierce voice here too, also. So from that, um, I listen to my higher self and, um, you know, I'm here to help people with... Uh, with what I'm about to share, it's a gift. And, you know, with the book due to be released, I'm going through um, a shift. And also, not only that, you, 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 feel, you feel an awakening inside of you, you know, the law of attraction. You, you start to see signs and manifestations and uh, symbols from the universe, such as numbers, for example, or it could be, you know, you finding money which I thank the universe for, finding money. Also, I've just come back from Cornwall and I've just seen many, many rainbows, different types. So you, you know inside when you're manifesting, you'll see those signs and symbols, whatever it is you're attracted to. And that's just the universe giving you a sign and a message back that it's time now. It's time for you to manifest and you're going through um, a great shift. Um, a great awakening with inside yourself that you begin to see these signs around you not just numbers um, it could be many things so this is just a few examples that I'm giving you know it could be a, a particular animal even but you'll know you'll know from within you'll see the signs and you'll know from within that there's something happening here you'll know that it's time for you now that you're going through a big shift something big is happening in your life right now. Either way, you will know. You'll see the signs and you'll feel it. So from that, that's when, you know, it's by letting go and letting in the new. And I know sometimes it's hard to let go. We get scared. We get afraid. We're f people get frightened of what they don't know, the unknown. And uh, so, no, you know, You'll also find there'll be opportunities coming into your life, whatever path you're on. You'll find things are starting to happen around your life and there'll be opportunities coming in. That's how you know it's time. Whatever, whatever path you're whatever it is you're doing on your path, on your journey, you'll see those signs and you'll pick up on it and you'll, and you'll get it and you'll understand it. So there's that as well. And then, you know, um, you know when you think of people, you, you have trouble in letting go. Like with exes, past relationships, you know, the, even the most challenging. So the, the dynamics, there's the push and pull in relationships. 
you you know you can be anxious and and have avoidance or you can even have anxious and then there's a, a little bit of a me meaning a little bit to it whereby you might be more needy in the relationship or the avoidance could be someone that's pushing you away because you know they want love but at the same time they're also scared of it and uh, you know you've got to be able to trust the dynamics the push and the pull you got to try to you, you know i've tried to force and control relationships in my life and realized you know that it's you know it's, it's a harsh wake-up call thinking that i can try and fix people and sometimes you can't um someone you know may realize that it's not meant to be the relationship the partner you're with or that somebody does not feel the same way about you or there's something like like that they realize that there's certain childhood dynamics involved which is me um or them that that may be active and through that this could be emotional emotionally unavailable or such as the parent from your childhood where they're emotionally unavailable it goes back to that or growing up attracting unavailable people because of that that inner child that law of attraction we look at the patterns in your life relationships and people um and then there's the healing that needs to be done within that's needed to be done and that's inside that's you know where you need to heal that inner child which i've spoken about previously in other blogs so the emotionally unavailable uh with people that that, that can't choose you there's that as well and then there's a lot a lot of the time that energy may feel familiar with you whereby it it feels deep and spiritually you know it feels a certain way that you know inside that childhood that dynamics you know not emotionally there and uh, or or emotionally there or you know you you see the patterns anyway and in your life basically so you may ask yourself with people <laughs> Um, you know, you ask, how, how do you get an ex back? And, and I've had people approach me over this, you know, how do you get an ex back, Lee? Um, so this is what I would do. I would put them on, a, I wouldn't put them on a, a royal chair and then chase them while they look at you as a peasant. Um, it's... You know, they, they push you away. You focus on your energy and you focus on yourself. Um, you let go of wanting and, and the desire. You let go of trying or you focus more on yourself, on your vibration um, of letting go and basically lifting yourself up, lifting your vibration up and to your reality who you are and this will change the vibration it will change your vibration and become a magnet because of this and what i mean by that is uh, it's the energy dynamic and then the attachment creates awareness so you know, you're afraid of letting go. You feel like you're never going to find love again, you know, after being in this relationship with somebody. So you need, you need to give love to yourself. And like me, uh, attracting unavailable, emotional, emotional people. Um, it's a reflection on my childhood. And, you know, my parents... They did the best they could and uh, they they had their uh, stuff going on and after reading the four agreements by Ron Miguel Ruiz um, they had their own stuff going on mum's going through a divorce and uh, my grandmother just passed away and uh, the trauma stuff going on was unresolved in the family it's dysfunctional, which I mentioned in the first book, Living with Lisa. And uh, something, you know, there's something wrong with mum. And uh, feeling anxious at the time. 
feeling that something was wrong with me inside and then what can I do? There's something wrong with mum, you know, and uh, what can I do to change the root of me? And I become a people pleaser. I've always enjoyed pleasing people as a pleaser. I've always enjoyed, you know, um, doing that. And then there's this belief of shame inside the fact that I'm broken, that there's something wrong with me. And I've had this discussion with, you know, siblings. And, um, you know, I was attracting people into my life and I thought I could get them to love me and I could fix them. Then I could be worthy. Comes back to worthiness again, you know, the beliefs and so forth. And then, um, in a way... I was trying to fix people in the same way that I was trying to fix my mother. When I was a small child, I would get that love, you know, that nurturing support that I wanted from my mother. And uh, I realised the shame, the abandonment, the rejection, um, not mine, my mother's stuff, um, that belief. It had nothing to do with me, and that my parents had divorced. Again, nothing to do with me, but as little kids, we're like little narcissists. <laughs> we, we, we literally think everything revolves around us. So because of that, what happened was I was thinking that all of this stuff was because of me, but that, you know, that my parents had divorced, they had nothing to do with me. But as kids, it makes you feel that you're unworthy. You, you, I remember a guy telling me that you know, he got cheated on. And I thought, well, you know, that could be because of his childhood trauma, you know, basically that um, he'd been abandoned as a child from experience. So, so this is where it comes to, uh, you know, the worthiness part and being a reflection of our in internal belief system, what's inside of us, those experiences we've had, those beliefs and so forth. So, so it's, it's not about who I am and what I deserve. I believed I was broken and there was something wrong with me. Um, and beliefs, you know, saying that you're not worthy. Um, and I believe that I, I identified with that with my parents, what was going on there. And, uh, and then, you know, in order to, to be loved and uh, feel that level of security, you know, that level of insecurity that was coming, that, that, that come with me. So, so the biggest transformation basically is, uh, is the outer reality. It's the reflection of the internal belief system. So to come back to cleaning that inner child that's inside us through meditation and handing it over to the divine, to the universe, and letting go of those beliefs um, that you're unworthy or unloved, um, that you're broken, and focus on yourself. Don't focus on them. Change the meaning that you're afraid of letting go. Um, and focus on the new meaning on getting in shape. Your purpose. Raising your vibration. Loving you. Healing you. And then you will find that you will be a great magnet. And let, allow the universe to come in. So let go of attachments, basically. And, uh, you know, my mother is about to transition now. She's getting ready to go over on the other side. And uh, I've had to go through a long process of healing and meditation. I'm still continuing to do that now. So I know she's going on the other side now. So it's about being in alignment with who you are, with what the universe is about to bring in and what's meant to be in your life. So it's about being able to let go of attachments. Don't chase. Um, let go. Focus on your own energy. Raises your higher vibration. Work on your inner self in cleaning up all of those beliefs, all those experiences that you've gone through. And then you'll find that your outer world will start to change. And then through that, once you allow the universe in the divine, you'll see things start to manifest around you 
with love, relationships, it'll start bringing in all the new and you're in for some wonderful experiences. So hold on to your reins because this is what happens by letting go, letting go of attachments, law of attraction. It's about letting in the new. So I'm going to say namaste, love and light. Get ready for the next vlog because what I'm about to give you is a gift. I was guided here to do this. It's my purpose. I'm following it now. My purpose. And it's in the second book. It's all part of the journey. The patterns are in the first book. It talks about my childhood, the dysfunctionality, growing up, eldest of three siblings, um, what I went through from my childhood. It's coming out in the second book. Um, and what it is you can do to recover and fix it and make a better life for yourself. So I'm going to say love and light, love and blessings to all. Get ready for the next blog. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>